I'm with Jimmy Bell, the president of Godolphin USA, of course. And first of all, it's been a, a really great spell over here, hasn't it? Particularly with Charlie Appleby targeting New York for the first time. It's been fantastic, and it just makes it so much more exciting for not only Godolphin, but for the fans and to see these international competitors come over here and perform so well. Uh, Charlie's done a great job, and we've had a pretty good run ourselves. So for Sheikh Mohammed, uh, the homebred programs and the racing program, this has been a year to remember. We spoke about it earlier this year on, on Zoom, but it's just been a sort of change of direction with, with Godolphin US in that you're basing horses sort of more around the country rather than just focusing on New York. Well, you are. Listen, in all reality, we love running in New York, as Charlie's found out, and as we've got a couple of nice three-year-olds, uh, you know, and four-year-olds running up here. But the truth of the matter is they're far and few between, and we found that by more of a geographic spread to give these horses an opportunity to develop, they can always climb the ladder, they can always find their way to New York, and you know, bringing on the likes with Mike Stedham and Brad Cox and, and you know, all the rest of the guys here, uh, Brennan Walsh, it's been and Billy Mott. It's just been a, it's worked out fantastic, and uh, you know, the results are beginning to speak for themselves. Yeah, they really are. And of course, Maxfield is, is a product of, of that. How are you feeling about post five for him on Saturday? Well, it would tell you how, how strong a field this is. There are only five in, in such a prestigious race as the Whitney. I mean, it truly is maybe the centerpiece of, of older horses for the summer racing. Um, you know, this is, ends up a lot of times in these small fields being a little bit of a jockey's race as well. Uh, you know Brad's colt, Nick's go, has got all the speed in the world. It depends on how he sort of dictates things. And, you know, we've got awful, awful lot of, uh, you know, Jose Ortiz does such a fine job, fits this horse so well, and the horse as well. So no excuses going in. We're very excited. He's sound. He's happy. He's healthy. And uh, he continues to keep taking steps forward, which is a big sign at this at this. Uh, name of the game you know at this time and of course you won the Whitney a few years ago with Frosted so it's been a good race for Godolphin it really has I mean it just goes to show you the importance of us as well that we really do sort of when you have that type of horse that you really want to you want to target this this is such a prestigious race and uh, it would be great to add another one to the Whitney because uh, these these are deserving horses and like I said Maxfield could not be doing any better having said that this is a very short but a very very strong group one field it, it really is. And you mentioned you've had a really good run here recently. How's essential quality following the weekend win? You know, he's a horse that we all wish we felt as good as he does. He's never had a bad day. Every day he gets up, he's just uh, full of himself, well within himself. Came out of this race very, very well. Uh, it was a dog fight, as, as they are at this level. And, you know, again, we're now circling and looking towards the Travers at the end of the month. And, uh, you know, he, he continues to... Uh, get the job done every time. He does make it a little interesting at times, yeah. exciting for those, but it seems that he and, and, and his jockey, Louis, seem to know what's going on and, and feel like they're always going to get to the wire first. No, he's an amazing horse. He really battled the other day. And how's our World Cup winner? How's Mystic Guy doing? Yeah, what a, what a story he's been. And, uh, you know, the good news is it was a very simple procedure, a little chip removed. Uh, he's doing his rehab right now, and we'll continue to evaluate and monitor and see exactly where we are in you know 60 90 days and take it from there but we'll let him tell us what's going on but uh, as far as the surgery was very straightforward and very uncomplicated so he's in kentucky yes ma'am he's 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 right uh, we have a little place at keeneland johnny burke runs it for sort of our rehabs and, and horses sort of uh, gearing back up in a pre-training situation and so he's doing his time there